Greetings everyone, my name is Numbers Can Be Fun and welcome back to another video of OpenTTD. Now in the last couple of videos, uh, we messed around a little bit, I did a couple of different challenges, but today what I want to do is I want to take what I've learned over the past couple of uh, playthroughs that I've done and I really want to see if I can put together the train network of my dreams. Um, so that's going to be the goal of this video. We're going to try to put together something that's functional and that ties together all of these towns. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get a new game started. Um, and this time we're going to upgrade the size a little bit. We're going to go to 512 by 512. And we're going to modify the settings a little bit to be uh, a bit more fortuitous to what we're looking for here. So this time I'm gonna go with flat. Not very flat, because I do want a little bit of a challenge still, but um, I wanna like decrease some of that hilliness just a little bit, just because I'm still not 100% where I wanna be with the trains. Other than that, I'm gonna keep all the settings um, as I did in the last video. So land generator will still be Terra Genesis. We're still gonna go, as I mentioned, with flat, very high uh, variety distribution, sea level will be medium, number of towns will be normal, number of industries will be normal, uh, the map edges will all manually be set to water. The starting date is gonna be January 1st, 1930, which will give us the train focus we're looking for, um, and it will not really allow us to easily switch over to vehicles uh, if we wanted to kind of cheat out of our goal a little bit. Smoothness will be smooth, which I always find hilarious. Rivers will be set at medium, and town names will be set to English additional. And uh, now that we've reviewed all of that, let's go ahead and get a new map started. All right. And here we are in another game of Open TTT. And I always forget, it's not set to WSAD. I have to use my regular keyboard keys to move around the map. But let's go ahead and get the town directory opened up. And we're gonna go ahead and sort by, um, let's go ahead and sort by population and see if we can find the most populous city. Here we go. So this looks like a nice little little area right off the bat. Nice wide open areas for us to build trains, which was was the goal here. So we've got Liverborn down here. We've got um, Acro Rivers on the top. I think this is gonna serve as a really decent starting area, at least to get started with transporting people. I do wanna just take a quick peek around. So we got Lumber Mill, Lumber Mill. We do have some forest over here that we can use so that'll be good i'll close that out another coal mine do we have a power plant that would set us up kind of well if i can find a power plant i'm not really seeing one and there's one down over here okay so we have some opportunities here in lumber mill forest okay all right i think this is going to be the best place to get started and I want to start with two tracks this time. Uh, uh, let's not overcomplicate it. I am gonna go with a platform length of five still, but we're not gonna ramp right up to five. We're gonna kind of just see how it goes, take it nice and slow, um, and maybe have like several small trains as opposed to like one very large train, um, at least for the passenger network, but I, I may adjust as necessary. All right, um, oh, actually, before we do the train placement, let's go ahead and do what we always do, which is to get rid of this awful avatar here. So we're gonna go with the one that I've selected in every other video so far, and we're gonna rename our president here to be the only president I would trust to run my company, which would be the Wall Street Bets. Come on, if I could spell today, kid. There we go. Mr. Wall Street Bets Kid, I am trusting you to run. Oh my God, it was WS. <laughs> I am trusting you to run Rocket Transport LLC. And hopefully he doesn't uh, rock hurt. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Um, hopefully he uh, doesn't run our transportation company into the ground here. Um, and let's go ahead. We'll pick. We'll go with red. I always like red. Red and orange are like some of my favorite colors. Okay, now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead, we'll place our first station here. And then I'm gonna pause the game real quick because as I mentioned, we're gonna be a little, a little bit strategic about this. And I'd say, I'd say that's, that's pretty good to get us started. 
So right in front of the football field. Excellent. All right. So let's get the first. Well, first, let's see if they. Yes. Perfect. All right, because I really do not want to mess around too much for this first start here. Let's get something simple, something that's going to earn us a lot of money and something that's going to be extremely low maintenance for us. So as we build out to more complicated things, um, we don't get overwhelmed. I could not have built this more perfect. Look at that. I'm very proud of myself. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll get the depots in. And you know what? Just to be safe this time, we're going to start with the depot here. And we'll put the other depot. We'll put the other depot here for now, too. Um, and the only reason why I want to do that is I, I just want to observe how this impacts the trains and, and what happens. I want to move those depots. I don't think that's the best spot for them but it's gonna be where we're gonna get started. And let's go ahead. We're gonna start with two, a two passenger train car and I just wanna kinda see what happens when we roll them back and forth between Acrove Rivers here and Liverbourne um, and see how quickly we pick up the pace. Oh yeah. So satisfying. That first train always rolling into the station is always a good feeling. All right. And here he is just kind of humming along. We're just going to see what happens now. Um, the first time these trains go into the station, I don't believe they pick anybody up. So while we're waiting for them to just go through their normal routine, let's go ahead and get our, uh, Get our groups together. Passenger transport. And our main station is going to be uh, Acro Rivers here. All right. Acro Rivers. And we'll put you underneath the passenger transport. And then under Acro Rivers, we'll go ahead. Oh, I forgot the name of the other. Liverborn it was. Yeah, there we go. So we'll just go ahead. We'll rename this group. Liver born. Got it. Okay, cool. Go ahead and put this passenger train here. And um, I always like to go with blue for the passenger transport. So that's what we're going to go ahead and pick. All right, now that we've let this kind of build up a little bit, let's see how this one two cart train is going to impact. So we, we had like 113 passengers. It brought it down to 84. So it's, it's very clear we are going to need a second one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll just copy it. We're not going to sling a ton of trains at this station, though. We're, we're going to get maybe one or two going at a time. Um, and just try to taper it up nice and slow. Because like I said, we're going to try to build the train network of our dreams here. All right. So it looks like we're able to pick up all the passengers at Liverborn here. But at Grove Rivers, we still have a lot of people that are waiting. So I want to see how these two trains hit these 140-ish people that are waiting at this station before deciding whether or not I want to add one more train to this uh, network as of right now. Okay, so it's clear that we're going to need at least one more of these trains. So we're going to go ahead and clone this one and get that one rolling. And see if that kind of balances it out. Um, because I'm not looking for perfection right off the rip here, but I am looking for it to be at least decent. So I want at least good or very good, at least to get started so that these stations stay happy while we focus on building up. And it looks like three is going to be where we want to pause on this network for now. So we'll go back and we'll check that out a little bit later. And let's see how we can get Green Hill networked in here. All right, so we could definitely add it in this way. I don't want to just like put a shunt right in the, for lack of a better term, a shunt right in the middle here. Um, I want to build a proper intersection. So I think this is going to be the best way to get the most catchment area 
uh, with that station. And then let's go ahead. We'll build that. We'll build that. And we'll put the depot in. For now. Okay. Now let's decide how we want to splice this network up a little bit. And kind of get these things on the same page. Um, hmm. I feel like in the middle is going to be the best. I just want to make sure there's enough track length here also. And we're only doing two for now, at least for the passenger. So I think we can get away with like making a really tight turn here. I just want there to be enough room. This is hard. Am I making a mistake here or not? Hmm. Yeah. All right. I, I I think we're gonna we're gonna roll with this, and then we'll cut across like that. Make two parallels, and then if you want to get over here like that, and like that. All right. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's go over here. And let's find a way to get that spliced in together. And we'll go ahead and we'll bulldoze these two signals for now. That shouldn't have too big of an impact on those trains that we have on the network right now. And we'll just get all of this tied together properly. Go over like that. And you like that, sir. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and we'll set up our signals here. We'll set up a signal here. We'll set up a signal here. And then the same over here. We'll do it on this side. We'll do one on this side. And then we'll do one on this side. That way, at least if you're in the intersection, ideally you'll have the right way and you can complete the turn on the intersection. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll do this just to kind of balance it all back out. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let's clean up the signals a little bit. There we go. Mm, I, I'm happy with that. I can live with that. This though, we, we can try to adjust this a little bit. I think this will this will be good. Yeah. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll put the signals down here like that. The signals up like this. And why are they still off? I feel like am I missing something here? Is it because I went the opposite direction? I think that's what I did here. All right, let's do that, and I'll just let you have all that track, sir, just for a minute. And then, how about this? What if we did it this way? Okay, that's a little better. I like that. I can live with that. Uh, same on this side. And then, we'll go ahead and from here, flip it around. Perfect. There we go. Now, let's go ahead. We'll get another group set up for uh, Green Hill. Green Hill. Okay. Green Hill. That's a weird, really weird way to spell green, but I accept. Okay, and this is going to be the main station. So we'll go ahead and put that there, and then we'll get one train for now. We'll put that over in Green Hill, and we'll get it started. And we'll just see what it does and see how it interacts with the other trains on the network. This is looking like a good start. Okay, so I think we got a good handle on everything. Um, one of the things I think I'm gonna do real quick is just, let's stick with two. So let's go ahead, we'll recall this train. You can go back to the nearest station. We'll keep it to two trains for now because we're going to use Acro Rivers here as like kind of the main hub since it's the biggest and I believe the most people are going to generate from this station. So 
we're gonna want to go ahead and make sure that we route our trains properly from here. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll sell this. Oh, okay, cool. And then we'll go ahead and we'll clone that other train from Green Hill. And let's go ahead and clone. And let's get you rolling. Nice. It's nice that we finally got all these trains politely waiting for each other. This looks a lot more organized than the last couple of videos I did where it just kind of turned into a big convoluted mess even though that was not my intention. I think eventually I am going to adjust where the depots are because I feel like the trains are waiting to enter the depot and that's causing like a little bit of a hang up. But I'm not exactly sure how to uh, adjust for that yet. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's start taking a look at another town that might be nearby, or at least another opportunity where we can make a little bit of money. So maybe we should look into goods here, right? So we've got this forest with 123, and we got this one with 139. So we can at minimum at least get two of these forests over here. Now, the what is the best way to approach this? Because we've already got the tracks like this. I want to make sure the goods get out properly. And, hmm. Should we just make it like straight up, like match? All right, let's close some of these other windows. I mean, it would work like that. It definitely would work. Mm. Let me see if I can make this work. No, it won't accept the wood from there. So at least though, we know it's not gonna run into that there. And I think if we at least have two spaces, so one for where the tracks cross, we'll go ahead, we'll put that little crisscross in there, right there, like that. We'll come down like this, and then we'll use these. No, not that tile. We'll use this tile here and we'll connect to the two parallel tracks. And that'll be the best way to do this. All right, then come here and come here and we'll pull those out our mistake. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is connect this together and maybe we should modify the signal length so I had them set to four. How about three? Since we're only doing two carts, I mean, just to have like a little extra buffer space between them. Uh, three is good. We could also do two, but uh, three, I think three is gonna be fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll fix that up. All right, get rid of these, get rid of these. I think if we could just at least get rid of the ones on each end, it, it it's not a good, great idea, but at least it'll, um, at least the trains still won't run into each other, so. Okay, that looks a little better. And on this side, okay, yeah, I like that. Alright, and for you, that's a little weird, but I can, ex I, I, can I guess we can live with that, and there we go. I feel like that's not necessary. We shouldn't double that up. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. <clears throat> and this one. And definitely that one. How did the, how did I screw this up so badly? All right, and then let, we'll fix the signals over here too. We'll get rid of these. Get rid of these. We'll start on this side. Okay. Probably should have done this. 
and then we'll get rid of this one and we'll get rid of this one and i think that'll be good enough to at least start like adding more of different types of trains to our network and i think <clears throat> we should be able to come straight almost straight out of this and get that first wood and get it routed over here so that's what's going to be my next attempt here <clears throat> Very nice. And we seem to be doing well on money, and I, I wonder if that's because we're, you know, setting things up properly. Okay, very good. All right, and now just to go through this painstaking process of getting this all put together. So we'll start from here. We'll move down the track this way. That'll give us an idea where to set this and to put it over here. We're going to bulldoze that signal and that signal. And we'll go ahead, we'll put this one back because I actually meant for that one to be there. And then we'll put a signal here, a signal here. We'll put a train depot, but we'll try it on the left side this time to see if it anything changes. And Go ahead, we'll put the other depot on this side as well. <clears throat> signal, signal. I think that'll be okay. It's, it's kind of hard sometimes to like really make that determination, but we'll go ahead and we'll just see how we did here. Okay. And then we'll start the next one right here. Perfect. And then we'll, we'll keep this one going up to here. Kind of want that there. So we'll delete this signal and we'll delete this signal. And that should be enough to get us started with wood. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the wood car. We're gonna route our first one. Okay, and you're gonna unload all here and you're gonna full load everything here. All right, now we'll get that one going while we set up our new group for wood transport. There we go. And then I always like to use the actual uh, lumber mill name. So we'll use that as the main station, Green Hill South. And we're gonna nest you under Dint Mr. Woods, which is a very funny name. We'll grab you. I'll set the color. Let's go with green. Very nice. And just in time to watch him grab that first full load of uh, wood that'll be waiting at the station. Ideally, which I don't think there's anything here. So he's probably going to turn around. Um, and I think what we're going to want to do is... Oh, he might actually wait. Which would be a good thing. Okay, yes. Okay, perfect. So we'll see how much he takes and how much is left over. Um, he's already 40% full, so let's get ready to clone him and get everything set up. So, ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do two. We're just going to do two right off the bat and adjust as needed. So we'll, we'll let him go. Oh, I forgot. He's going to go to the main station first, but that's okay. It'll give him uh, an opportunity to test the route, I suppose. And why not zoom out a little bit and just see how all these trains are doing overall on the network. All right. So we've got some decent income from our various different industries that we've set up here. So far, so good. The network seems to be behaving in a manner that we expect it to behave. None of the trains have crashed into each other 
and we've been able to pick up um, almost all the wood here. I bet you we could get away with one more train, but as I mentioned, the goal here is to try not to overload the network. So we're gonna stick with two trains each for now. Um, and let's see how we're gonna approach the goods issue. So this station can take goods, this station can take goods, and this station can take goods. So that means we're gonna need three goods trains. Um, we are running a little low money, so we'll see if we can just start with one. And we'll go ahead, we'll set it here, and we'll send it to Acro Rivers first. You're gonna full load and you're gonna unload all. And now that's gonna take up one of the ports on the train station while it's waiting. But I think that's okay. I think as long as we don't have two of these going, it'll be okay. And maybe, you know what, let's try something here. So what if I did this? And you're gonna go back here. Unload and leave, oh no, I, don't, I, I want you to full load again. No, 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 that's not what I want. I, I already screwed this up. Green Hill South, full load. And then you're gonna go to Acro Rivers. Then I want you to go back to Green Hill. I want you to then go to Liverborn. Back to Green Hill again, and then over to Green Hill. And you're gonna unload, full load, unload, full load, unload. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll make an adjustment. So let's go ahead and we'll send you back to the depot for now. And instead of it being one uh, two cart train, why don't we kind of stack this one up a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and we'll double the size here. Let's go with, let's just go with the train length of two because that's what we have our signal set up for. So we'll add the extra one there and we'll go ahead, we'll tell him to get started. And hopefully there is now some stuff waiting for us and I'll get the budget screen open and we're just gonna see how this has an impact overall. And all right, so we have the goods train there waiting. And now all we need to do is just see if, I'll move this here see if these trains will start filling this station up with goods and if we can get the goods out to Acro Rivers. Okay, so there's something that I've noticed already um, that we need to fix. It's that this goods car is not getting filled up with any wood and I'm starting to wonder why because we've had two trains go in already and deposit what they have. So I'm wondering if we're just not hitting the threshold that this sawmill needs in order to produce goods. Why don't we, why don't we see about connecting that second one there and possibly adding two more trains to the network and getting that wood moved over. So we'll do that. Always a good idea to get the stations in first. And we'll run the tracks down like this. We'll get the little X crisscross thing in. Very nice. And let's move this here so that they can intersect properly. All right, there we go. You can come down here. It could be like that. Am I doing this right? I feel like I didn't do this right. No, I, I did it right. It's fine. Did I? No, I'm not sure. I feel like this, this isn't right. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely didn't do this right. All right, so what is too much here? Something is extra. Something doesn't look like the other. There we go, all right. Now that we got it set up properly, we gotta do this, do that. And we'll go ahead and do this and do that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead. We'll put the depot in and we'll, uh, I guess we'll put it here for now. And let's go ahead. We'll get another train going, but let's get the group set up first. Cause this one is called fee freeding stone woods, freeding stone woods. Okay. 
All right. And we'll go ahead and clone. Hopefully we have enough money to clone. We do not. We're, we're very close though, so I'm just gonna fast forward for a second just till we have the funds necessary to clone the train. And then we need to modify its schedule. We still want it to go there, but we do want it to go here instead. And you're gonna grab a full load of cargo. And we'll backwards it this time so it's not running in reverse order. Once it gets started, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but just for now, we'll move you up here so we keep an eye on you, see how you're doing. Oh, of course, it's still lent in the opposite order. So it wouldn't have mattered anyways because they basically did the same thing. I always make that mistake. It's, it's a very common one, but eh. All right, very nice. So we finally got the train to head back to the station and pick up its first load. See, I, I don't quite understand what I'm doing wrong here because I still have that goods train just sitting there waiting. Let's take a look at it one more time and make sure that we set this thing up properly because I'm going to feel really dumb if we've been waiting this whole time for something that I just set up wrong. And look at that. Such a simple mistake. Terrible. Okay. All right. So we're going to actually pick the correct type of... A vehicle to put in here this time and then we're gonna restart it and how much do you want to bet that we actually start accepting goods now instead of passengers oh my god that was such a simple mistake um it, there we go hey look at that so here I went and thought that we weren't sending enough wood to this station when all that we had to do is just select the correct cars so i'm gonna keep this mistake in here because i'm sure somebody else will make that mistake um and i i want people to learn from my mistakes if you do watch this video so <laughs> you make sure you're selecting the um the correct type of car to match the resource you want to move all right so it looks like the goods car is about to get moving here and it's gonna head over here to Acro River, uh, Acro Rivers. So let's see how much money we make with the goods that we just picked up. Now, I uh, remember I do have this routed to all the cities. So I also wanna see if that's an efficient way of doing this, or maybe if I should just have one train each. But again, I don't wanna clog this network up too much. So let's just see how this goods train impacts the network now that we've added something additional. Something I just noticed, it, it did like a weird U-turn thing down by Liverborn. I just wonder if that's because that part of the track was already taken up by a, a signal block. I'll have to make better observations. All right, so we're making a decent amount of income off of that goods train. So we're just going to let that kind of roll around a little bit and see if networking it to those three towns was the right move. In the meantime, I think we should go back to our groups and take a look if we've got everything set up for our passenger network. So we do have the four trains there, which is good, but we should have, I feel like we should have a few more than that. No, that's two to each. We only have three cities, so that should be enough because these two are going back and forth already. And these two are going back and forth. I mean, you could send Green Hill over to Liverborn, but I just feel like that's just overly congesting the network, especially when this is, this is good enough. Let's make sure, I think we also forgot over here in, yeah, so over here in Freedingston, we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll just clone one more train. We'll get one more going. That way we can stick to the two that we have each. And this is, this is still holding on pretty good. I think I may wanna add one more passenger train to the network soon. Um, so in a couple of minutes here, we'll find another town and see if we can get that added. But so far, these trains don't seem to be waiting too, too long. I mean, there's a little bit of a, a hold up here, but nothing crazy. Or, you know what we could do is we could try increasing the length to three on each one of these trains. That's going to be a little annoying, but I, I think I think with the groups, we can we can make that a little simpler. Manage list. Yeah, see, we can just send all of them to Depot. So, and we have $37,000. Why don't we do that? Why don't we go ahead and upgrade these trains now, add the additional passenger car to each one of them, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so this one's hanging out over here in Liverborn, and not the station. I want the, the Depot. Can I have the Depot, please? I guess not. I guess I'm going to have to do it the hard way. All right. So far, so good. New vehicles. 
All right, so you're getting a passenger car. What, I can't do it like that? Okay. And we'll do one for you. Cool. And you can go. You can go. And let's just find out. All right, so you're hanging out over here. Both of you are over here. Okay, cool. So new vehicles. One. You go here. And we'll add one more. And we'll just hit the go button this time. All right, let's see how that has an impact on Acro Rivers before adding any more new trains to the network. Let's just see if this makes things a little bit more efficient. All right, so based on my observations here, it looks like it might be a good idea to have another goods train. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Um, I know this isn't the correct depot for that, but I, I don't care that much about it. Um, oh, also I noticed, ooh, we didn't set up the group. So why don't we go ahead and do that now before we do something else. Um, all right, so goods, train, or okay. And then we'll just nest these under Green Hill South since both of them are going to be basically hitting all the cities. They're just going to be hitting them at different rates. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And I'm going to keep the color red. And we'll go ahead, we'll do one more, and we'll just get this started. And then that way, it should put a big enough dent in those crates of goods there so that we keep our ratings high, because we're only at mediocre right now. Um, and yeah, hopefully that balances out. So far, the network doesn't seem to be getting too congested, but I'm going to make a couple of more observations and make a couple of more adjustments before we connect anything else to this network. Okay, I think we got a pretty good handle on everything right now. So let's go ahead and start looking for another opportunity here. Um, because I do want everything to kind of share the same network, but I also want to be smart about it. So let's see if we can start moving some of this coal around. Coal is easy to move because once you can get it to the power station, you don't have to worry about it anymore. I forgot where the power station actually was though on this map. Oh, there it is right in front of my face. So we're almost at the power station anyways, so maybe coal is the next logical step. Um, we do have coal here. It would be easy to get to. So let's see if we can tie it in. All right, and I think we'll make this the end of the line right here, at least if you're going in this direction. That way it keeps the network congestion down a little bit. That might be a mistake, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Very nice. And just like before, we'll just stick the station right there and we'll add that little crisscross pattern that we always do. Excellent. All right, now let's come over here. I do want this to be offset a little so maybe this will be the right approach or at least maybe over here all right let's pull this track out a little further first of course you're gonna break down like right when i want to build something okay this might actually not be too bad hmm that and then like this nice okay i think that's gonna work it looks a little weird but i think that'll serve as like a good way for them to all turn through that intersection Another crisscross. We'll get it down here and we'll just do that kind of like Y intersection thing we've always done. Beautiful. And let's get the signals in. And we'll go ahead. Yeah. 
and do that. Awesome. And then we can delete this one and this one. And this one, because I don't like that. We'll put that there. We'll put this one here. And we'll put one more here. And one there. And one there. And I think that'll be good enough for our purposes. Now, we're doing okay with money. I don't want to borrow any more. We're, we're going to keep the $200,000 loan that we started with. So we're going to have to wait a minute here for our cash reserves to build up a little bit. Um, which is kind of why I wanted to get a nice foundation rolling first. Green Hill South can't find a path to continue. What is going on here? Oh no. Oh no. I got them all deadlocked somehow. I, I don't... Hmm... This is going to be a problem. So, obviously, I screwed up here. Let's see if we can find a way to fix this. Because I think us failing to, like, tie these together properly is part of the issue here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now it's fine. I was worried I was going to have to manually, like, maneuver these trains around each other. I can live with that. Minor mistake. All right, so I did fast forward the game just a little bit just to uh, see if we can uh, get some of these coal trains going. We are making decent money. I just didn't want to wait that long. So let's go ahead and get that Kirby going. And we'll go ahead and we're going to stick with the three carts this time. So one, two, three. We'll start you off like that. And you're going to go here. You'll grab a full load of that. And then you'll eventually make your way down here to the power plant. So, grab all of that, dump it here, close that, we'll get you started, and then we'll get the group set up. Alright, and coal transport, perfect. Now we're going to use the power plant because that's going to be where we're going to send all of this stuff for now. So we'll call it Malda North. And you are connected to... At Grove, Grove River Mines. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and we'll go with purple this time. Nice fitting color. And that way, none of this gets too confusing. At least when we're looking at it from a glance, like from this distance, we can know which train is what. I forgot how slow these Kirby's are. This distance is ridiculous for this train to travel with all this coal. But finally we've made it into the station, so we can at least see how much money we earned from that. Okay, alright, that was totally worth it actually, so I take everything I just said back. Alright, so I think we have enough money, so let's go ahead, we'll get a second train going while that one's on its way back. We'll go ahead and we'll clone you, and we'll get you started now. That way we can have one filling up while one's returning. And you got a lot of coal here, so it's probably a good idea that we did that. Actually, we might even want another one. Let's see how much this one pulls. I think maybe we want one more. Where's the other one? It's still got a while. Yeah, we're gonna clone one more train and three just because of the distance. I know we were saying it's only going to be two, but I just want to make sure that we don't get bad ratings on this station. What's nice is with the way that we've built this network up, um, nothing seems to be too complicated. I haven't had to make too, too, too many adjustments so far to anything. Um, and we might be in a good position to actually pay off the starter loan soon, which would be great. Okay, so we've got another deadlocked intersection, and it's probably a good idea if we address this issue. Let's see what's deadlocking it this time. Okay, so here's a problem that I didn't anticipate. We've got two trains that are locked up here because we have two of these goods cars. So I'm not entirely sure what is the best solution to this. I think we just have too many trains going here. So for now, I'm going to depot that thing. Uh, so we, it's not going to cost us money to keep it running. And let's see here. Maybe the inclusion of a third track is the solution we're looking for here. 
Actually, you know what we could do? We could add another two tracks um, parallel to this. Keep it as the same station and just allow for a little more flexibility with this station without hopefully overloading it too much. I just don't know how I'm gonna network this in. I guess we could do it like this. That looks like it could work and then it goes straight into the depot too. So let's try that and let's go ahead. We'll re-release all of those trains. And we'll see if having four stations um, for them to wait at will cause the same issue to reoccur. I think we just had too many trains going to that one place. Oh yes, we always want the Ginzu. I don't want the Jubilee. I don't know if we're in a position to start upgrading our network. What I think I want to do first is... You know what, screw it. Actually, I do want to upgrade all my trains because we'll make money faster. So that seems like a smart thing to do. Let's go ahead and replace all the vehicles and we'll replace the Kirby with the Ginzu. The Ginzu has less reliability, but it can pull more weight at a faster rate of speed. So I think that's a fair trade-off. We already have a lot of breakdowns anyways, so uh, what's the harm? Now, I think the way this works is, okay, so we're gonna start seeing auto renewed failed. That means that if we didn't have enough money in our savings account in order to start the upgrade process. So we're gonna see these messages keep popping up over and over again until we have banked enough money in order to start upgrading all of these trains. Then I believe as they go into each depot, they will automatically upgrade and become the faster version. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of play the waiting game here for a little bit and see how this upgrade process goes. Okay, all right, so I just saw the first train get upgraded, which is great. I believe it was one of the wood trains. Hold on, I'll be able to tell you in a second um, without opening up the menu, just based on the speed of the vehicle. Yeah, it looks like it's this one over here. Yeah, that thing is just cooking down the tracks. Now look at that. That is what I'm looking for here. So we'll be able to step up our game a little bit here because we'll be able to deliver these goods and services a lot more efficiently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this kind of sit for a little bit, coast, allow these upgrades to go through, and then we'll move forward. All right, so as you can see, a lot of the trains have already started getting upgraded here, which is great. So we've got a good mix of the Kirby's and the Ginzu's. That's what I'm calling them anyways. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, but I'm calling them the Ginzu's. So we've got a good mix of the Ginzu and uh, the Kirby trains um, on here, and we can already start seeing that it's becoming a little bit more efficient. And we are starting to make money at a faster rate of speed, which means these upgrades are compounding onto themselves a lot faster, which is what I want to see. So it looks like so far, this may not be the most exciting video because it's not as chaotic as my last couple of videos, but we've got a really good foundation going here. All right, I believe we only have one more Kirby left, which is good. So as soon as that one hits, it's... Uh, hit its maintenance depot. Hopefully here, we'll get it to upgrade. Um, actually, it looks like there's two left still. Okay, so good. That other one got upgraded, so we're just waiting for one more of the coals. Nope, looks like it's all done. So, we can go ahead and we stop fast forwarding here um, now that all of the upgrades have completed, and we'll go ahead and we'll pay off our starter loan. And now we are still left with $144,000 of profit. And we have ourselves a really, really nice foundation for this train network, which is super cool. I'm really excited about. All right, now having a look at this map here, this looks like it's gonna be a pretty good challenge. So unlike the other videos, what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna save the game here. Um, and I'm going to change my colors from color scheme red to color scheme green because we are in profit now. So we deserve to be in the green because we are in the green. We finally, finally turned a profit with this company. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. So we'll go ahead and save this under rocket transport. 
and I want to continue this going. So we're going to make this a little video series and we're going to see if I can continue this really, really nice foundation that we have here and see if we can keep this going because I do want to build my dream train network. I want to finally have a good network that is functional, that connects all of these towns and resources together and finally have my dream of a model train town set or whatever you want to call it. But in any case, this has been so much fun. I hope all of you enjoyed watching this video today. My name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and I hope everyone out there has a wonderful day.